In this week's Motoring Vidcast, we take a look at the green cars being unveiled in Frankfurt. Coming up on the show are six of the best. There was once a time where motor shows were the playground of male fantasies, where beautiful women and sleek machines promised fast lane, high octane excitement. But times have changed. At the 10 day Frankfurt Motor Show, out go the hints of burning rubber and in come tree hugging reassurances about saving the planet with cleaner, greener science under the bonnet. There were plenty of concept models on show to get a glimpse into the prospects for the industry, something in keeping with the event's slogan, see what's driving the future. German automakers are no exception and BMW, with its new Concept X6 model, boasts what it calls the world's most advanced hybrid technology. The X6 uses BMW's active hybrid system, which combines two compact, high-performance electric motors connected to one another by three planetary gear sets, a fixed transmission ratio gearbox and a high-performance battery. The result is a reduction in fuel consumption by up to 20% compared with comparable BMWs running on a combustion engine alone. Asian manufacturers also have their say in green engine technology. This week Hyundai unveiled its iBlue fuel cell electric vehicle, a hydrogen powered zero emission concept car. The car is powered by a 100 kilowatt electrical engine and fuel cell stack iBlue is capable of running more than 600 km per refueling and can reach a speed of 165 km an hour. Supporters of fuel cell technology claim that it is a viable, environmentally friendly alternative to the internal combustion engine, and with the only emission from the car being water vapour, it's hard to argue the logic. Nissan's Mixim concept car is another motor to catch the eye this week. The marketing bump describes it as 1% cute and 99% evil, and you really can sense that the Japanese designers have had a lot of fun with this car, particularly on the interior and especially the dashboard display. The design team had an average age of just 25, and the instruments and controls inside wouldn't look out of place in a computer game. The driver sits centrally, and in an interface that is intended to please F1 fans and gamers alike, there are plenty of gadgets and graphics to amuse. There are even cameras in the headlights. Under the bonnet, the engine is powered by Nissan's electric supermotor slash generator and uses compact lithium-ion batteries. During the show, Opel unveiled Flexstream, an eco-friendly concept car designed to emit less than 40 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometer. This hybrid also uses a lithium-ion battery, but it also houses a 1.3-litre CDTi diesel engine as backup. But it's no conventional hybrid. The primary focus is very much on electrical propulsion, and the diesel engine is on board solely to power the generator and charge the battery. The flex stream can be charged in around 3 hours via a standard 220 volt electrical socket, and a fully charged lithium-ion battery gives the concept car a range of around 55 kilometers. However, Volvo's recharge concept says that it can do double that distance. Not only can the plug-in drive 100 kilometers before the vehicle's four-cylinder flexofuel engine needs a recharge, researchers say that the technology can lower carbon dioxide emissions by an estimated 66% compared to other hybrids. This is certainly groundbreaking, as it is estimated that 80% of drivers in the United States do not drive more than 100 kilometers in a day, so the days of filling up at a petrol station may truly be over. But environmentally friendlier cars don't have to be boring, and fuel reduction doesn't necessarily mean a drop in speed or power. Last week, Porsche unveiled its new 911 GT2, touting it as the fastest ever 911. Okay, so there's not a fuel cell in sight, but it does offer a level of fuel economy regarded as impossible in this performance class just a few years ago. Even with an average fuel consumption of just 12.5 litres for every 100 kilometres, the vehicle can accelerate to 100 kilometres per hour in 3.7 seconds and can reach top speeds of 329 kilometres per hour. And that's far from boring. That's all for this week. This has been James Moore.